My name is Samantha Jago and I'm a solicitor specialising in family law with RHW Solicitors based in Guildford in Surrey. And RHW offer a range of services in family law. So we offer other services such as mediation and collaborative law. And I'm a trained mediator. And mediation is where an impartial third party meets with both parties with a view to trying to resolve matters amicably and by agreement. And I think it's very important to be able to offer alternative ways to resolve family matters um, because people are always worried that they're going to lose control over their matter and they won't have much say in it and that their solicitor will just simply lead it. So it gives them the opportunity to take some sort of ownership over their matter, meet with their partner, explain what their concerns are and try to actually work with them to reach resolution. Um, I think it's quite fulfilling as a solicitor to take on the role of mediator because you actually get all the parties in the room together and you don't see, very rarely do you meet the other side unless you end up at court, which is rare. Um, so it's nice to see everybody together and try to deal with quite early on the anxieties that will often prevent a case from progressing. So it's very important to us to offer alternative means of resolution as a firm so that we're not just seen as traditional lawyers but actually trying to find solutions for our client by offering those range of services. But Julian specialises in collaborative law so I'm sure I'll tell you a little bit about that. Yeah, I'm Julian McAvoy. I'm like Samantha, I'm a family solicitor here at RHW and um, as Samantha has said I'm trained as a collaborative lawyer. Um, I think everything that Samantha has said I, I would echo. Um, I feel that um, it's up to us as law changes and as law develops to be able to offer alternatives and that's what it's all about and if we're not offering those alternatives then we're letting our clients down. One of the alternatives as Samantha has said is mediation. Another is collaborative law. Collaborative law is slightly different from mediation in that you attend it with your solicitor and in the same meeting there will be the person with whom you are separating and he or she will have their solicitor with them. So there are four of you in the room and it's often called a four-way meeting and there will often be two or three or four of these meetings going through the case in order to resolve it. Gives you, the client, the opportunity to set your agenda and as Samantha says, to take ownership of the process. I think that's very important. I think it's so important for everyone in this age of information to know that they can take these things into their own hands rather than be told by some higher authority what's good for them. Surely you, as an individual and as a parent, you know what's best for you and for your family in the situation that you find yourself. We have clients come to us, well for me, in two different ways. I have a traditional client that comes to me, they come to see me on their own. And if they do that, then I'm actually retained as their solicitor and I take on that role. And I actually explore with them the options available to them. So that's either reaching agreement directly with their partner and I'm just drafting them up or helping them in those discussions going to mediation and I can assess with them whether or not they're appropriate, as I said, if there are issues of domestic abuse that might not be appropriate, whether or not traditional negotiation is going to be appropriate and as a very last resort, and I really mean it's a last resort, a court application, and there in quite extreme cases you can make that immediate decision. Um, to me, I think, you know, if you are mediating then you have to collaborate and if you're collaborating there's an element of mediation involved but the emphasis is in you know the clue is in the title if you you are in a position where you want to collaborate collaborate with the partner from whom you are separating and that's your priority then collaboration may be better for you if it's more a question of needing someone to mediate between you then the emphasis goes in the other direction and maybe that mediation is, is, is the better route. We, um, well, when people come into mediation, we encourage them to have a lawyer in the background anyway because any agreement reached at mediation and finances has to be drafted up by a solicitor and filed with the court. And during the process of mediation, it becomes quite clear whether or not mediation is or isn't appropriate. And a good mediator will say, this isn't working, you need to explore one of the other options, um, or they'll say, let's try this different angle to try to get it back on track. So whether you've been engaged as a mediator from the outset and approached that way, or whether or not you meet a client individually, you should be able to assess whether or not mediation or collaborative law is appropriate for that individual.